Good morning, Whimsy Ray fans. This is Rachel coming at you today. I have finished my tribute to Whoopi Goldberg and I just wanted to show it to you. I did a mixed pour on the background and I am ready to show you the finished product. Um, it looks a little slightly to me um, kind of cartoony, which is kind of what I liked because she's a big uh, media person, I guess. I wanted to make her look like that in a sense, always in the back of my mind. I kind of view um, Oprah Winfrey as a person who, I don't know, she's just got such character, uh, personality, I guess is the, the, the word I would use. So without further ado, here she is. This is Oprah Winfrey. This is a mixed media textured art piece it is uh, made of a mixed pour in the background. It's a 16 by 20. And um, I wanted to do her close up. Um, and I also wanted to do her uh, basically like a representation of someone larger than life because she represents so many people in a lot of ways, like um, their thoughts, feelings, emotions, um, a lot of her past talk shows I used to watch religiously when I was uh, younger. I used to look forward to her shows. Her topics were always of great interest to the public. Um, I just enjoyed her view of allowing people to express themselves. She's always been really good at asking the right questions to get people to um, explain how they really feel about very delicate subject matter throughout her lifetime and I really enjoyed that about her which to me made her larger than life because it takes courage to not only of course be in the public eye or things like that but it also takes a lot of courage to continue to find the pursuit of the what's really on someone's mind or in their heart you know it takes a lot of courage to ask those delicate questions sometimes and she just does it so well <laughs> and to a lot of very sensitive individuals throughout her lifetime so I really admire her for her courage to do that because not everybody has that talent not only that she's an avid book reader um, and she also encouraged people to read and learn and she still does to this day I just enjoy her so much she also has a great sense of humor and she can act she's a great actress excellent actress I mean she does she could wear a lot of hats so I really like her about that because I feel like in the art community there's a lot of artists that can also wear a lot of hats and I just feel like if you limit yourself too too much in the art field in any way then you miss the mark sometimes when it comes to trying to reach out to a clientele that maybe wouldn't be considered a clientele normally in your field. So I guess this is one of the things I like about Oprah Winfrey and my tribute to her is she encourages that. And it's almost like she's trying to speak to you. And that's what I wanted in this picture is for her mouth to be open and for her to be smiling and speaking to you and saying like, it's okay to learn and, and grow and keep growing and keep reading and just, you know, enjoy your life and make your life larger than life itself. And that's why I like mixed pores. I like that galaxy type view, <clears throat> excuse me, galaxy type view. And I wanted her to definitely have that um, pers persona in this picture. Um, so she's outlined in gold and um, there's some blue and red reflecting from the background. Um, and, you know, she's she's out there in the stars and just, again, you know, like a galaxy type um, look to her. This is, um, again, a mixed pour I did a few weeks ago, and I kind of talked about this one and um, how I made this. This is, was this was made with Artesia Gold. She is uh, made with chalk or soft pastel and pencil and, of course, acrylic. Um, there is also some textured, 
I guess you could say textured additives I put in here along with the paint. But that's what I do. I'm a textured artist. And it's um, another term for that would be mixed media art. Again, I do watercolors. Uh, acrylic right now is my specialty because it's fast, it dries quick, the colors are solid. I don't have to necessarily repaint as much over things. And I like the black and white view of the 20 Famous Women that I'm doing right now. I have changed it up a couple times on different people. Stay tuned. I have more coming. I believe I'm down to like 12, maybe 14 of my 20 famous women that I admire in my lifetime. So this is uh, Oprah Winfrey. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Have a great day.